Representative from Slovingrad, ladies and gentlemen, welcome also on my behalf. My name is Danica Ramšák, the director of the Agriculture and Forestry Cooperative Slovingrad, and uh, today I would like to tell you something about our agroforestry general type of. Um, Cooperative. I have to tell you that we are one of uh, the largest cooperatives in Slovenia, and all, we are also a member of the Association of Cooperatives presented just earlier. We are located in the northeastern part of Slovenia, and we cover the whole territory of um, the region of Štarska and Koroška. We like to say that we cover the territory of the three valleys. That is the Mežiška, Mislinska, and Drauska Valley. So practically, we covered the whole territory up to the Austrian border and down to Seonica and River Trava. That's something about history of our cooperative. First cooperatives appeared in our, in the Kroška region about 60 years ago. Actually, we actually our roots date back even to the 19th century and earlier. But the first official ones were organized about 60 years ago. In the beginning, we, we had many small cooperatives. Practically each village had its own co-op. And all these small co-ops had their premises. And then fi about 50 years later, these small co-ops started merging. And in the end, now we have five to s or six larger co-ops. At the end of 2001, actually, all these main five co-ops merged and now we have one big co-op that cover that includes the Dravogard, Uzenica, Ozbalt and two other smaller co-ops. This merger was very successful, great success for cooperative movement in Koroška and I have to say that our co-op is now functioning well, it's very successful. What are our main activities? We try to buy in all the produce of our members, and we also try to support their work with all the materials and other tools that they need at their farms. Of course, we deal in trades, in banging, market surplus. We um, also have different premises that we rent, and uh, we also provide different services to our members and also other farmers. Now, if um, we take a close look at our trading activities, we, have, we own 26 shops, and um, all these shops with Exceptional one, um, we it, we own the buildings in which they are located. We have uh, 16 non-grocery stores and 10 grocery stores. In our non-grocery stores, we sell all the different tools and goods that farmers need and use in their farms. And I have to tell you that um, these non-grocery stores also provide goods for non-members such as, for our non-members non such as sole traders and other mem um, small and medium enterprises. We also have one textile shop. Then we have 10 grocery stores. Of course, in those we sell the produce and other products. Um, provided by our members, by our, and um, in one of the shops you can also buy 
meat or livestock. In this way, we create over 52% of the total income of the cooperative. Here we can um, see numbers related to our binds. This is data for 2011. We buy in 31.5 million liters of milk from 250 producers, and we sell it um, here in Slovenia, 80% to Celea dairy, and 20% of it is sold to Ljubljanske Mlekarne dairy. We are the 18% owners of the first dairy that I mentioned, and we are now also trying to um, purchase the Ljubljana dairy. Um, then um, we also buy in f approximately f 4, 000, over 4,000 um, pieces of livestock and we also buy wood, part of it is um, exported to Austria. In this way, we create a total of 46% of all cooperative income. And as I already mentioned, we have the activity of um, lease and renting. We rent land to our members. We also rent business premises and residential premises. Then we also provide services such as uh, bookkeeping and um, accountancy. And uh, we also organize uh, transport of uh, livestock. And all these activities represent 2% of our activities. Some more numbers related to 2011. I do hope that we will have similar results this year. We have um, the gross turnover of 36.2 million euro, profits of 34,000 euro, the capital of 7.9 million euro, and uh, we have 131 employees. Now you can see the comparison of the situation in 2001 and 2011. We had the turnover of 23.2 million euro in 2001, and now after the merger, 36.2 million euro. The total capital in 2001 was just under 5 million euro, and now just under 8 million euro. In 2001, we had 152 employees, and today we, own, we have 131 employees. What I'd also like to mention is that um, we have uh, to produce the financial reports each year, and also um, and all our financial reports are audited. How is our cooperative organized? We have uh, the General Assembly, centralized um, a board of directors and uh, supervisory boards. We have um, elections every fourth year. Um, the central management board has nine members plus the president, and they normally meet once a month, sometimes twice a month or every other month. We have a four-member supervisory board, so three members plus the president of the supervisory board. Then we also have uh, regional cooperatives, We have the total of 
for such cooperatives? And uh, does you also have for regional administrative boards, which uh, pre they're the ones responsible for the preparation of uh, the projects for the future, for new accepting new members, etc. And then you also have regional general assemblies that um, where all members can participate. Our cooperative has 1,016 members, and each member um, pays the first first pays an entry fee, but then uh, this um, fee is reimbursed after one year of um, his or her membership. And now in conclusion, I would like to mention some of the principles that um, we respect during at our work. And this is that uh, our membership is voluntary and open. We try to develop good cooperation in the field of um, forest, forestry and um, agriculture. We live in um, autonomous, independent functioning. We believe in equal treatment and we believe that we have to take care of a wider community. We try to create good relations among our members and with also with other cooperatives and we try to create good relations between the employees. We try to invest into our premises. We sometimes even build new premises, business premises, sh new shops, etc. So what we believe is important is to have a vision, to have a goal and then pursue that goal. And of course, what we try to achieve is um, the happiness of our members. So we, we are there for the benefit of our members and we work for them.